Welcome back to another episode of We Roguelike at the show where we play every roguelike in history. I'm your host, Boston Joy. As always, is Moonpeer. I hate you. And Monkey Senior. Hello. Uh, we are on our third of four weeks of Vambrace Cold Soul, so it's the time where I ask the most important question of the show. Monkey, Monkey have you finished you the game? <laughs> <laughs> I have not. Okay. No. Yeah. I haven't been playing it as much as I. Uh, would be playing other games because of yes, Animal because Crossing. Animal Crossing <laughs> <Sure. is there. laughs> Which is, yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I played a good bit in this week. Um, I didn't know you can fail side quests. Uh, I did not know that either. <laughs> yeah, I've got a fun story about that in a minute. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Um, the, the one I did was the, the princess asked me to go uh, find an artifact or something. Mm -hmm. And then I went to go talk to the, the merchant lady and uh, there was an option to mention the princess or not mention her. Right. I didn't mention her and then just got completely locked out of the, yep. the quest. So That's a really weird reward if you succeed because I accidentally succeeded that side quest and she just gives you a set of lingerie. That's like... Oh, okay. Okay, and it's like a equipable outfit too, so you can okay, just Okay, be... so now I'm locked out of an achievement. That's good to know. Yeah, well, don't worry. You can't get that achievement on your for on a single playthrough anyway. I figured as much because yeah. you get one specifically for trading the coin in at the beginning, the merchant's coin to the one faction. So right. I'm assuming that yeah. there is one for the second too. You need a minimum of three playthroughs Yay! to get to get all the uh, trophies or achievements. That's. That's Great. <laughs> it's not like there aren't any other video games coming out ever. Nope. It's not like I have 300 <laughs> games to play installed on my Xbox. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. What else did I do this week? Um, so I replaced, or I replaced my lock picker with a dragoon class because okay. I I had a um. I somehow got a class-specific item, and I was like, I, I kind of want to use this, so I equipped it to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that makes it pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those class-specific items can kind of overpower classes. Yeah. Yes. So for the Dragoon, uh, I guess he has a, a taunt as his regular um, like ultimate, I guess, move. Right. X move. Um, and then upgraded, it makes... The whole enemy team attack him, and he makes them weaker. Oh, like wow. there's attacks weaker. So <laughs> yeah, the one I got from my pretty good tank. Uh, for my hedge mage, changes her default like ultimate attack. It's on square for PS4. Um, does like it heals for two, and then it heals for one for the next two turns. Mm -hmm. um, it changed that to healing for four and then healing for two for the next four turns. Interesting. Yeah. Just like, wow, okay, so that makes that class way more useful. Yeah. I, I saw that in the the uh, craftable things, and I was like, I'm gunning for that. Like, yeah. <laughs> whenever, yeah. Hopefully I can get whatever materials I need. I don't remember. Yeah. Um, so I mentioned I replaced my lock bigger. Um, that means I'm getting a lot less items. A lot less gubbins from the chest. Yeah. And that I've I've been liking that a lot more because, <laughs> because I don't, don't have, have to, to do worry weight about dance. weight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like <laughs> uh, eventually I just stopped doing everything in the dungeon because none of it was really yeah. that beneficial. Like all the stuff that I'm getting was fine, but I felt like I was always lacking so much stuff because I, I could only carry you know, a uh, hundred or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. And then, like, all the events in the dungeon, almost all of them have an option where you're like, I don't even want to interact with this. And it's it's so safe by doing that, because it's not yeah. even... A lot of times, if you succeed, it'll be like, oh, plus ten vigor. But if you fail, a lot of the negative effects are, are pretty bad, because they'd be like, oh, you're... Now you're chilled or you're hallucinating or one of these other kind of confusing status effects. It doesn't really make it worth it. Yeah. yeah. Especially the, the chests one. Yeah. I, I, I completely stopped uh, opening, trying to open chests. Yeah, me too. It, 
doesn't help that my lock picking my highest lock picking on my team right now is one so okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. but yeah the 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 mimics that you get with chess those uh fracture you i think and that lowers your combat and that that's yeah. the worst <laughs> yeah uh yeah i think that's it oh i i don't like that um during surface cutscenes lyric goes to the front and it doesn't automatically go back. Yep. That yeah, is so that's weird. pretty annoying. I just eventually had to leave her in front, where it's just like, I'm sick of moving her around. You just, you can just stay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Moon, I'll let you go next, and I'll uh, I'll go last here. Um, honestly, I, I did a couple of runs. I didn't do a whole lot, though. Like, I I can't even remember what chapter I'm up to. I think it's like four or something. Yeah, uh, the second a... or third dungeon? Uh, third. Okay. Um, and... Did a couple of runs, but to be honest, I don't know if it was my brain. I don't know if it was the way I was playing. But I just kept like I crushed the most recent dungeon, and then now it's just like I don't know right. if it's me. I don't know if I'm just being terrible, but <laughs> um, I just ends up like. And the worst thing is, it's because it always happens. The lyric is always the one who dies, so yeah. all of the other people are fine. But she's the one who dies, and then it's just like, see ya, back to the beginning you go. Yep. Bye. Have fun. Thankfully, you keep your party members, but... Yes, it keeps everybody else the same, but specifically her is just like, oh, she's down. Better go yep. back to sleep at the end. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I've done some talking and stuff like that, but yeah, I'm just struggling with this dungeon. Like I said, it could just be my own personal brain situation. Yeah. Um, be making terrible decisions, which I know I did a couple of times because, like, why did I just do that? I don't know why I did that. <laughs> why well, I pushed the button? Mm -hmm. That's interesting that you've had lyric die because I haven't had lyric die yet. Like every time I've gotten close, I'm like, oh, out of the dungeon. Oh, I yeah. I haven't That's had anybody else die. Period. I've only had hair die. Yeah. I uh, don't know why. It's really weird. On the PS4 version, it's really nice that if you are in, say, a boss battle where one of your party members you don't want to lose their artifact is about to die, you just close the app, fire it back up, and you're back in town with everything saved. <laughs> oh, that's handy. <laughs> so I, I just, you have this, like, quick abort button where it's like, this is this is going real bad. I, I can't can't afford to lose this. Interesting. I may have to remember that. No. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Boston, you said you have tons of notes. Uh, I, regale us with your notes. I beat the game. <laughs> nice. Oh, what? So, uh, yeah, I kind of... It's not super long. There are five dungeons uh, overall. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Is this going to be the first we rogue like it where we all beat the game? I, I was worried about that this week because the, the end of that game kind of wraps up pretty quickly. Um, I do have a, a bone to pick with Vambrace, though, and I got... The stuff after the third dungeon sucks because you finish the third dungeon and you're like limping back to town and then there's a story event where you have to play another dungeon. <laughs> and it's just like, it's not super long, it's not super tough, but like I barely scraped my way out of that boss battle uh -huh. and I ran into a bug where um, I, I still have no idea what any of the status effects do in this game based on icons. I it, It's... Yeah. Yeah. so frustrating where it's like you now have I to have pull a... up your stupid party member screen and then hit left trigger and then scroll right. through them that way it's like the it pops up and it's like i have a broken purple skull and it's like i don't i don't know what that what is that like one of my um so my dwarf had a whole bunch of status effects on him as the boss died and his health was really low so i beat the boss, I talk to the boss, because, you know, it does the same thing, where it's like, my soul is freed, here's a yes. legendary item. Um, and then, it it switches to a scene where it sends me to town, and as soon as I go to town, my dwarf takes two damage, not in a fight, and dies. Oh, because they were probably mm. bleeding, and then they took that extra damage. Yeah, or something, and I was just like, Why? Why would why would you do this to me? So like I'm I've already had tr enough trouble leaving that dungeon, and now I'm down a party member. Like this is <laughs> this is is a really bad one two punch here. Um, the other thing too is when they die, uh, you lose the artifact that he yeah. had, which was a problem. I did not know that. 
Which yeah. is good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was uh, not super happy about that. Um, fair warning about the fourth dungeon. That's a super high uh, difficulty spike. For real. Uh, right. Most of the, the trash mobs that you're going through are fine. There's like one of them that has found out if the if the enemy's portrait has like a green circle around it, that means they just have a ton of health. Um, oh, okay. And the last dungeon also has a bunch of enemies that don't show you their health, which is so much fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> two notes because the majority of the time I spent this week was fighting the the mini the mid boss on the fourth dungeon. Don't bother killing any of her ads. They all die when she does. Just pour damage into her and kill her as fast as you can. Because mm -hmm. any enemies you kill will get resurrected by her. And the okay. healer heals the entire party. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, like, it's just like, you just need to pour damage into that boss and just hope for the best. Good the, to know. The yeah. final boss of that dungeon doesn't do that. But the final boss of the game does <laughs> so it's just like <sighs> the, the level of inconsistency was was pretty rough um additionally the final dungeon uh the bonfires all of the bonfires you run into all the camping spots will not let you heal or restore vigor until the very last one which you have to rest at so it's okay. it's like it's so weird because the each floor of the dungeon is huge, but you don't want to explore them because you have to push to the end to restore all your stuff. And they don't they don't let you know that this is going to happen. So I brought no healing items with me um, because I found every floor in every dungeon has two bonfires in it. So why would I weigh myself down when I can restore six health and vigor every time mm -hmm. and lyric by the end of the game had 44 health so nothing was killing her Jeez, because um, i found some i think it was at the end of the third dungeon whatever choice i made the the uh item that they gave me just boosted her health by 23 <laughs> just yes. like okay i'm just definitely like putting that other on. character <laughs> uh, yeah like health fun um so you like you push all the way to the to the end as fast as you can and then i kind of wiped the floor with the final boss it's a two-phase boss you beat it and then he sort of goes like oh that's not my true power and i won't spoil the, the uh. final boss battle because it they do something story-wise that kind of sucks um but it it's an interesting idea uh -huh. um and then you, you basically get super powered for the last phase so the final boss had like 30 health maybe and i'm hitting for 12 for <laughs> every attack and it's just like okay well that was that was easy and then out of nowhere i get the evil ending <laughs> okay even though i had sort of made friends with everybody helped everybody Interesting. yeah like i had made all the 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 decisions that I thought were good and I get the super super duper evil ending because apparently I had accidentally not done like two side quests for some characters hmm. so yep. I'm, I'm now the evil ending that's good to know it's good to, good to know exactly where your heart truly lies right e <laughs> with evil Yes. Mm -hmm. So apparently there are three endings, like good, evil, and kind of middle of the road. Um, but I won't see the other two because I, <laughs> I'm <laughs> not in the mood to go back and play. Is I had such an easy time going through this game because I picked that the dwarf, the one that mm -hmm. avoids traps. So I kind of walked through every dungeon except for the fourth dungeon because there are false paths on the map, which is super great. Uh, yeah the ones with the there are a bunch of paths with green question marks on them and i thought my initial thought was um like an ftl sort of thing where like i go through this path and maybe something happens on the way but no uh -huh. it's just maybe is or isn't a path um, great yeah so uh, the end of that game was just sort of like 
all right, I'm moving on every time I walk, hit a bonfire, hit both of those things, and kind of keep moving on. Um, I, at the end of the day, I I liked Vambrace, and I'm glad we played it, and I'll save save my full impressions for the yes. uh, the science yeah. episode. But man, this isn't really a roguelike. <laughs> it's just it's just one of those not false advertising, but like you're just random map generation doesn't really make a roguelike. And mm -hmm. I understand why you put the buzzwords in there, but may maybe not checking all the boxes here. Yeah, yeah. Bit bit of a bummer, but I'm I'm kind of glad. Number one, I'm glad I finished one We Rogue Like It game. I put that feather in my cap. Um, and number two, kind of glad it wasn't. It wasn't super super long. It was a it was a pretty good, pretty good length. So that's. Uh, I think that's it for this week for uh, We Rogue yep. Like It. It's mm -hmm. uh, so I got one week left of uh, Van Bray's Cold Soul to kind of rush through the rest of those dungeons. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for listening. And we'll see you all next run. Bye. Bye. Bye.